Welcome back to Hollywood on Top. What's hot in Hollywood from the top of Hollywood? I'm Marta Bloom and we're about to take a stroll down the Emmy's red carpet in a segment we call Glam It or Slam It. But I'm not doing this alone. I have my trusty social media sidekick, Aaron DeGroff, who's been combing social media to find the looks that got the buzz. But wait, 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 that's not all. Today we have a dream team triple thread of stylists who are going to join me on stage to break it all down. In chair number one is a highly sought after fashion stylist for some of the biggest names in film and television. Please welcome Lindsay Dupuis. <laughs> In chair number two, with 15 years of experience in her back pocket, this LA girl is now one of Hollywood's most sought after stylists. Please welcome Jenny Elizabeth. <laughs> chair number three, we have an Emmy winner. <laughs> Our next guest has turned hair styling into an art form and in the process been nominated for 11 Emmys and taking home the gold twice for hairstyling in a multi-camera series or special. Please welcome Emmy Award winner, Kimmy Messina! Woo! Woo, look at that gold! Yeah! But wait, there is more. Just to make sure we have a man's point of view, we have with us in the studio the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Chuck Liddell! Woo! So Chuck, are you ready to glam it or slam it? I was born ready. Ooh, and by the way, you look ready in that blue suit. Oh, my wife had it made for me. Ooh, go so Heidi. Now let's see who got glam and who got slam. Take it away, Erin. Thank you, Marta. The 69th Annual Emmy Awards was one of the most diverse in its history, but I'd also have to say one of the most diverse on the red carpet this year, too. We saw all types of trends from feathers and furs to bold colors, metallics and tuxes. And of course, social media had something to say. The net was buzzing with these so-called lady suits. We saw women like Oprah Winfrey wearing a black and white Elizabeth Kennedy tux and Emmy winner Lena Waithe also rocking one. What do we think, ladies? Glam it or slam it? I think it's super glam. I think it's a great way to show your personal style. And one of my favorite looks on the carpet was actually Evan Rachel Wood. She had a white tuxedo on, so I love but it. Also, I think that they look really put together. Uh, it's a strong look. I feel like the hair matched very well with the strong uh, strength of it. I agree with you. They kind of like pull the hair back and let, and let the tugs do the talking. I think it depends on the client and the body type. You know, it really depends on the tailoring. Either you can you know, be someone like Oprah and really nail it, or if the tailoring is wrong and your body isn't good for the suit, you're going to look awful. So I think it depends. OK, Chuck? Um, a little old fashioned, and I like for a glam event, and some a big glam event, to uh, have a little more of a like dress or a little more sexy outfit than a, than a suit. It's more like businessy or well, dinner. Not, not a, I, I don't think it's a place for a business suit. That's okay. just the way I see it. All right. So, would you slam it or glam it, Chuck? I guess I'm the only one here, but uh, I'd slam it for a for a glam event. <laughs> Woo, controversy, we like that. Question number two, Erin. So next I have Sarah Paulson with her sequins metallic Carolina Herrera gown. Those puff sleeves definitely turned some heads on social media. Glam it or slam it? Okay, let's start with Jenny. For me, I felt like it was 1985 figure skater and a really bad version of the Olympics. And it doesn't really do very much for me. It was a bit over the top. It was a little too much sparkle, but I am with Dancing with the Stars, so usually too much sparkle isn't too much sparkle for me. But there was a lot going on there. But I think what she did do well was she wore her hairstyle nice and sleek and put together. So how the sequins and the sleeves made it a little bit more of a larger print, the hair I felt really worked. She brought it all back together. I have to agree with you. Okay, Lindsay. Um, I love her, she's a fashion girl. She always dresses for fashion. She's wearing one of the hottest trends, which is the leg of mutton sleeve, which you're sporting that trend oh, today too. Oh, thank you, and my Celine. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so I like that it was bold. I think she wears it well. Okay, let's ask the manly man. 
I don't know much about trends, but I, I mean, I don't know, the bottom's kind of boxy and it's kind of like... Um, it needed to be longer, right? Like it's yeah, too little, short, little Mary little longer, Poppins. But it also kind of looks like a, it fits like a potato sack. I mean, I mean, she's got the cuts in her side and I think it should be more tailored. Because when you more think well of a fit. woman in a dress, you think curvaceous, you, you think tailored. Exactly, but if you're trying to be conservative, you wouldn't have all the, you haven't had the cut in the side and you would, you'd have just a, something that covers everything. So I don't like the way it fits. Okay, ooh. I love a man that can say how he feels. All right, glam it or slam it, ladies. Oh, oh, I wanna slam it. Even though she's got my sleeves. I'm with Chuck. Ah, uh, slam it, for sure. Yeah. Slam. Next one, what do you have for us, Erin? So let's talk about my personal favorite, Zoe Kravitz. She came wearing a rainbow feather Dior gown. Her social media was off the charts, voting her one of the best dressed on the red carpet. What do you ladies have to say? Slam it or glam it? I don't personally think you could ever go wrong with Dior or feathers. Um, so I love it. I love the colors. I think it's fun to put a lot of color with the black accent that she's got on the top. And I think she totally nailed it on her hair with just keeping that nice and fit to the head. Again, letting the dress speak for itself. It was one of those dresses that was beautiful. And those cheekbones. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Um, but when she, she was doing a lot of spinning and like showing off the dress and it was so beautiful on video too. I think it brought it to life even better than it stands in a photo. I agree with Lindsay that I think this is one of those dresses that um, definitely looks better uh, in a video than it does in a picture and she really worked the runway with it. I know that this rainbow is really in right now, so I get it. Um, I'm a huge fan of Rainbow Bright, so you know I think it's cute, but not definitely not one of my favorites. Okay, Chuck. Well, I mean, it's fun. It looks kind of like a peacock. Reminds me of a peacock. If it, if it was... <laughs> okay, girl, slam it or glam it. I would say glam. What do we have? And what would you say? It's fun. I glam it. All right. Woo. Okay. Aaron, all right, let's not leave the men out. Social media gave Chris Sullivan from This Is Us a bit of a thumbs down for his look, which included a blue plaid dinner jacket by Brooks Brothers, a purple bow tie, complete with a top hat and a walking stick. Was this too much, ladies? Glam it or slam it? Okay, let's go with Lindsay. I mean, it was a lot, but he is a lot. Like, he always does this. This is his personality, and I think it's a great way to show who you are. Um, I think the purple bow tie took it just a little too far, even though you would think I would, the walking stick would, but it's just, I don't know. It would have been better with a black bow tie, keep it a little classier. For me, I think it's a little bit more Grammys, a um, little bit more of a Grammys look than the Emmys. Okay. But I also think it's very self-expressive, and everything put together is really fun. All right, and cha. You know, uh, he's having fun with it. If he's not, someone should slap him. But uh, <laughs> Or knock him out. Uh, possibly. <laughs> but, you know, he's having a good time with it, so I think you, you go the whole nine yards. Uh, I think you did that. Well, you know, I think that the celebrity makes a designer is not the designer who makes a celebrity. So I'm okay with the Brooke Brothers as long as he can rock it. Slam it or slam it, ladies. Okay, I'm the only one that's slamming it. Chuck, what do you think? Well, if it's just the suit and the, the get up, it's, I slam it. But uh, since it's, uh, he's having fun with it and having a good time with it, I, I say it's a, okay. it's a slam glam. It's so. a slam glam right here, yeah. <laughs> Aaron, who do you have next? Typically a social media fashion star, it looks like Reese Witherspoon may have struggled a bit on the red carpet this year. It's hard to tell. Was it retro? Was it a lady suit? Was it true blue or too blue? Glam it or slam it, guys? Okay, well, I'm gonna start with myself here. And, and honestly, like, just looking at her, I feel so blue, I feel like a depressed blueberry. It's a lot of blue. Uh, I think she always nails it with most everything that she does, and I think that that length shortens her. I think it's a lot of blue um, all in one place. I would break it up with some color. And also her hair, it's just so boring and straight. I, what do you I, think would have worked in this case? Even a high ponytail, even a low bun, uh, something braided maybe to soften that look a little bit. Well, I really love blue, but uh, that is too much blue. And just the way it fits, the way it looks, she kind of looks like an Oompa Loompa. And I'm, I'm a big fan of hers. I think she looks great most of the time, but it's, it's like shortening her. 
It kind of, she looks a little boxy, right? Yeah, it looks a little boxy. That's yeah. what, I, that's that's what, what that's I'm looking what, for, yeah. yeah. Okay, glam it or slam it, gal. What do you say? What do you say, Chuck? I'm gonna have to slam it. I really like her, but I'm gonna have to slam it. Slam. Woo, okay, we all agree on this one. Hello, okay, great. And who else do we have? I can't wait. Last but not least, we cannot forget the man everybody is talking about. Two-time Emmy winner Donald Glover and that super retro purple Gucci suit. Glam it or slam it? And do I even have to ask? Well, I have to say, purple rain all over me, honey. I love it. Love, love, love. I think it's great. I think, like she said, it's retro. He owns it. He was a star of the night, and he stood out from everybody else. So why not? You can't go wrong with Gucci. Yeah, when I first saw it, I thought it was a, a, um, a little bit aggressive. And then when he went up to accept his award, I actually think his personality made his whole look. I thought that he came together with his suit, and I felt like he was a really bold sort of stand out. Seemed like super gracious, wonderful guy. And he had the courage to rock that suit. I mean, he, he rocks it well. and. And I, if you're gonna wear that, you should be winning something, and he obviously is. So uh, I think he, did, he wore it well. Glam it or slam it, girl? Glam it. All right, Kimmy, this question is for you. What would you do with Chuck's hair? <laughs> well, um, he is an alumni dance with the stars, so we had lots of opportunities to do lots of fun things with him. Um, but. I would maybe add like an extension piece on top to maybe just give him a little bit more length on top. Then he could almost make like a pompadour out of the front of his mohawk, still keeping his mohawk look. Oh, I like it just the way it is. I feel like it's cool and edgy. And what would you, what would you think about Kimmy's suggestion? How, what well, would you? I, I would have to do extensions to get any kind of flow in it. Cause I get, I turn into an Afro hawk if it gets too long. I grow mm -hmm. my hair out, it gets really, uh, really curly, but, um, you know, I try anything for a, for a show or to do something, but uh, I like keeping a uh, nice and neat groomed, well groomed uh, panty strip here. Woo! All right. <laughs> okay, before we leave, uh, Chuck, would you please stand up? Okay, ladies, will we glam him or slam him? Oh, we're glamming him. Yeah. Glam him. Woo! Well, thanks, ladies. I have to tell you, the glamour is all right here in this room. And I hope you will join me again on the next red carpet. I want to wrap it up with my own personal top 10 glams. Gabrielle Union in Suhara Mirad, Jessica Biel in Ralph and Russo, Issa Rae in Vera Wang, Viola Davis, beautiful, and Zach Posen, Mandy Moore in Carolina Herrera, Felicity Huffman in Tony Ward, Kerry Russell in Jay Mandel, Zoe Kravitz in Dior, Leslie Jones in Christian Siriano, and Jane Fonda in Brandon Maxwell. And those are my top 10 picks. From what's hot in Hollywood, from the top of Hollywood, this is Hollywood on Top.